All right, folks, let's try to do some practice SOL questions with the SOL software, which is called TestNav. Find this icon on your screen called TestNav SOL. Open it on up. On the actual SOL, you'll get a username and password, but for now we're just practicing. So just click SOL practice items. Click reading 2017. 2017 is the year they changed the reading test. It doesn't think that that's this year, don't worry. Um, and let's click seventh grade because that's what we are. And let's go ahead and get started and play around with some of these tools. We'll agree to the terms and conditions. We'll click start. And we will click this little arrow to get started. So sometimes you're going to have reading on the left and instructions on the right. Sorry, give me a phone call. Make sure that you always scroll all the way down. See your little scrolly bar here? Scroll all the way down on the readings to make sure you get all of it. It's important. Once we've read it, we can, the directions say, answer the questions that follow. So we can go to the next one and answer the questions. Oh, look, I clicked next, and now there's questions on the side. Let's use some of these fancy tools we can do. So you can highlight stuff in different colors. You can use you can use that weird robot voice to have it read to you. If we want to cross out some of our answers, we can use the answer eliminator. Click the little X up here, X out some of these bad boys. And if we want to try to answer the question, we have to click back to the pointer to be able to answer. Um, if we use this little drop down menu, we can mess around with the color. We can make it uh, like dark mode, so it's black with white, and mess around with the different colors. I don't really know why you'd want this one. That looks terrible. Um, but mess around with that however you want. This might, the black one might be a little less taxing on your eyes. Um, you can also show line reader thing. This is like the digital equivalent of putting a bookmark underneath your line, so you can just look at one line at a time if you want to. Um, and you can also enable answer masking where it covers up the answers for you. So if you want to do that strategy where you uh, don't look at the answers until you try to think of it yourself, this is a good one. And I think if you click answer masking when you go to the next answer, it'll already be masked. Let's try it. Yeah, look at that. The answer masking stayed when I went to the next question. And so did the highlighting. So that's very helpful. Um, so remember, you can bookmark questions if you want to review them. And then you can click on the little review uh, button here, and it'll show up as bookmarked. And all the questions you haven't answered will have a little orange mark next to them. You can click back to the instructions anytime you want. Uh, for some of these ones, you are going to have to click multiple. So make sure you're reading the instructions carefully. See? And I clicked two, and then if I tried to click a third, it got angry with me. So I would have to unclick one to be able to click again to change my answer. I'm gonna turn off that answer masking. Some of these guys you're gonna drag. You can drag them back where they came from if you wanna get rid of it. See if there's anything else fancy on any of these. You've reached the end of the questions for the passage. Select, select review. Um, and look at this. It says you can select the review button to review any questions. Once you select next, you will not be able to return. So you've got to finish this section before you move on. 